Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, we are going to look at Reddit. We're going to look at... No, not Am I the Arsehole. We're going to look at Entitled Parents. My favourite. Remember to like, comment, subscribe for the engagement, whatever. Follow me on Instagram and I might just follow you back. Check out my podcast channel. Check out my main channel. Let's get on with it. Sister-in-law freaks out because she feels my BF and I are denying her child food. My boyfriend's family came to town for a week and stayed with us. We made sure to have clean towels, fresh sheets, stocked fridge. Unfortunately, two days after they got here, my boyfriend got laid off. Ever since then, he's been really down in the dumps and grumpy. My boyfriend's family don't have the best manners. They leave dirty plates behind and clean up after their kids' messes and such. I tried my best to ignore it and just clean up after them when they weren't home. Today, during lunch, we served lasagna. After we finished eating, my boyfriend's sister got up and started packing lasagna for her kids to have for dinner. She packed what her kids left over and was adding more on top. They weren't going to be spending the night with us, so she wanted to have a quick and easy dinner ready for them. I told my boyfriend that if there wasn't enough lasagna left, I can order him dinner and not to worry. My boyfriend got up and asked his sister how much she was taking because he wanted to make sure that him and I also have enough food for dinner. Again, he's been very stressed about money since getting laid off. She screamed at him, how dare you deny food for my child and picked up her things and left. Everything escalated out of nowhere and she packed her things and went to another rental. She felt like we were denying her child of food. Make the damn lasagna yourself then. I began crying and ran into my room because unfortunately I don't do well in these types of situations. I grew up around an emotionally abusive family. Oh, that's difficult. And these events are really triggering for me. She told my boyfriend that she did not feel welcome and that she felt we were being rude to her. Who are these people? Am I at fault for making her feel unwelcome? Or is she just an entitled parent? She said I was super rude for making that initial comment in the first place. The one where I told my boyfriend not to worry if we do not have... Shut the... Shut up. Shut up. This stupid sister. Rude for making the initial comment of don't worry, I'll order some dinner if she takes it all. What do you mean? Shut up. Your boyfriend's family sucks. So let them pack up and don't let them back in your home. His sister is a horrendous guest and frankly, a bad person. I couldn't agree more. Unfortunately, my boyfriend still plans to invite them back and I feel like I have no control over that. It's his family. I don't want to cause a rift between them. Right. Well, if you're living together, you get a say in that too. You have to remember with these things. If you don't like the family, but you do plan on spending the rest of your life with your partner. Well, I have a rude awakening for you. The family is something you're going to have to deal with for the rest of your life. So if you don't like them and your boyfriend doesn't see why or doesn't see a problem, do you want the stress of that to continue for the next 30 plus years? It's something to heavily consider. It is freezing in here. But I don't know if this ancient radiator works. And also, I don't even know if it's a radiator because it says... It says... Cold. Oh, that's the weather. Okay. I'm worried. What if I turn it on and, like, spiders come out? I don't trust this. Hold on. Entitled father thinks he can control the music my sister listens to. My dad, 42M, is extremely religious and is very strict when it comes to following the Bible. I personally am not religious and I've told him so straight up, but he is a Christian who believes it is his God-given duty to teach his children about the word of God so they can inherit his kingdom. I would love to inherit a kingdom. Sign me up. Where is it? He follows the Bible to a T. Does he? Does he wear mixed fabrics? Does he eat shellfish? Is he going to hell if so? He follows the Bible to a T and expects his children to honour it as well. This includes monitoring what my sisters wear so they can be modest Christian women, controlling their relationships so they don't try to have premarital sex, and now it's gone as far as what music they listen to. All our lives, we were only allowed to listen to gospel growing up. Whenever we were hosting a family function at our home or just hang music play while cleaning our house, it was always gospel. He believes any other genre, regardless of what it is, is devilish and satanic. I'm serious. However, me and my sisters don't give a flip and listen to whatever we want in our AirPods headphones when we're in the cars. One of my sisters for F17 was listening to her music with her AirPods in today, and our dad questioned her about what she was listening to. When she told him, when she told him, he told her he doesn't want her listening to that stuff and that she needs Jesus. She sent me a screenshot of a text he sent her saying the same thing about an hour or so after the verbal instance. It's ridiculous. I don't care about his beliefs or the fact that he is our father. He doesn't have the right to tell her she can't listen to anything other than gospel. It boggles my mind that he thinks he can control that. The nervous and religious folk is absolutely insane. You need to do some serious Bible study. Did you know that the Bible is so full of contradictions that for any rule, you can almost always find a phrase that says the opposite. When he quotes you, ask him if he knows such and such reference. Might not help, might get you in more trouble, but it'll be extremely satisfying. <laughs> yeah, and I read... Okay, I was reading an Eric von... Uh, Eric von Dan, uh, I forget, 
the aliens bloke, right? The one who wrote Chariot of the Gods. I was reading one of his books and he was, he was yapping. He was yapping about how history is fake or something. You know, all the good stuff, right? And he was talking about the Bible. You know, there's no written copy of the Bible that actually dates back to Jesus's time. They all come out, I think, like by the ninth or 10th century or something like that. They all come out a few centuries later, right? And then... There's none of those original copies, people that would then just like have to manually copy each new iteration of the Bible. And because they were copying it, they would also just like make their own interpretations of what the text that predated theirs was saying. So really the Bibles that you have now are complete kind of bastardizations of what the original words of like the, the original, original, original bible would have been in the first place you know it's all like interpretation upon interpretation upon interpretation so shut up suck your mum <laughs> believe what you want just don't oppress other people it's really you know what like you would think it would be that simple and yet look what's literally happening in the world today that is the end of that one thank you so much for watching see you guys next time bye